Hello, Hello field, field time. time. Okay. Okay, good night, eh. Biglaan po tong live na to kasi hindi ko din po inakala na I'm gonna meet the one and only <laughs> Mr. Orion. Yay! I'm so, I'm so thankful, Sir Orion, for giving me this, this opportunity to like have a live chat with you tonight. And isa lang po yung tanong ko kay Sir Orion. Sir, ano ba yung mga reforms na talagang kailangan i-correct sa Pilipinas? Meron talaga tayong mga reform ang kinakailangan mangyari sa Pilipinas. Uh, ito yung mga reformang na-promise ni, uh, ni, ni Pangulong Duterte. So, ang, uh, ang pinakaunang reforma ay yung pagtatanggal ng mga 60-40 at ng mga uh, tinatawag natin anti-foreign direct investment restrictions yes. para dumami yung mga trabaho sa Pilipinas. Para kumbaga, makakapasok na ngayon ang mga foreign investors yeah. sa Pilipinas na makakapag-create ng mga jobs para sa mga Pilipino para hindi na natin kinakailangan maging OFW sa labas. That's a good point, Kasi ako sir. ay OFW, nasa Singapore ako based. There are more than 10 million Filipinos working abroad wow. as OFWs. And that's what's keeping the Philippines afloat, sending money back. Yeah, But true. the problem is, there is a major social cost. That is the dislocation of families. So, exactly. Na ay na ay tao uh, ang ang amahan o ang inahan magbuwag magbuwag sila kay yes. ang nanay to asa Singapore nagmade or nasa Hong Kong nagmade. Yes. Ang amahan to asa Saudi nag construction yes. worker. Yes. Ang mga bata na bilis balay sa lolo glula. Mo na dehat. Kadako sila. They are growing up without parents. Real opinion ko is sana sana hindi na natin kailangang maging OFW. Meaning. Kasi yung OFW department, ano lang yan, temporary lang dapat yan eh. Yes, temporary it should be like the last oh. Parang ano yan, uh, parang stopgap measure lang yan eh. Uh, temporary, it's just a temporary solution. Mm. But the real solution for the Philippines is what, no, no, no more OFWs. Yes. Dapat ang mga trabaho pupunta sa Pilipinas, dadami ang trabaho sa Pilipinas, ang mga tao hindi na kinakailangan lumabas. Ang mga nag-OFW na mga OFW ngayon, ay babalik na ng Pilipinas dahil gumanda na, sa, na sana ang mga trabaho, ang mga sweldo ng mga Pilipino. Agree. Because we cannot afford to continue with a solution that was really or originally meant to be a temporary stopgap measure. Yes. That's, and... that's what it was supposed to be. Yeah. You will work uh, as an OFW for two to five years at most and then come back. Okay, that was originally the plan. No, it became permanent. Filipinos have been working abroad for 30, 40, 50 years, and then when they come back, they're still poor. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we cannot, we cannot have that. What we need, instead of sending Filipinos abroad, is we bring the jobs in. We bring the jobs from abroad to come to the Philippines by opening up our constitution to foreign investors. We allow investors to come in. So. That's the number one change that needs yes. to happen. But when that happens, there will be a lot of investors coming in, right? Yeah. But we cannot afford to have all of those investors coming only to Metro Manila. Exactly. So yes, we, sir, we, need, we need a mechanism that will allow these investors to go to different parts of the Philippines, True. to the different regions. That's why we need federalism. federalism. Exactly so federalism. What it does is it will allow the, the regions to actually decide on creating very nice policies that will attract the investors to come over. Come yeah. to our place, don't go to Metro Manila, come here because it's cheaper, we have lower taxes, etc. Yes, et cetera. and vast land. Vast what land, fun cheaper. Yeah, exactly. cheaper land. I mean, why will, why will you want to go to Manila? It's so expensive there. Yeah. But you go to other regions, it's cheaper. So that's what federalism is about. Yes. Federalism is not just, you know, for the sake of having different regions. No, it's for the sake of developing economically all the regions of the Philippines. Yeah. Allowing the regional governments to, to take the initiative to attract investors, to invite investors. Yes. You know, uh, just a few days ago, mm. I, I saw a video of... Uh, Premier Kenny, 
Kenny, I think is his name, in Canada. In, uh -huh. uh, what in is it about? Alberta. Sir? So basically. Oh, oh, oh. Alberta's so, is very famous here. Yeah. The Ganke mga OFW leaders are from Taiwan to Alberta. Going to Alberta, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So essentially, how it works is Alberta, I mean, Canada has so many different provinces. Yeah. yeah. What they call states are actually provinces, mm -hmm. right? They call them provinces. Now, because Canada is federal parliamentary mm -hmm. and they are open to foreign investors, each state or each province has the ability to, to attract investors to come in. So there was just That's a few good. days ago, a few days ago, the mini prime minister mm -hmm. of the province of Alberta. Alberta. I think Jason Kenney is his name. Jason Kenney. He went to New York to talk to investors. Please come to Alberta. We will lower our taxes. We're going to do this, do this. Please so come in. They don't need like the president to do that. And then, my develop good. Ang own in yeah, oh. okay. it's, it's direct to them. Exactly yes. the point. Yes. Yes. Unlike right now, it's nakasalalay tatanan sa president kay ang president na yes. oh, sir ikaw na like wala at yeah adto sa laing nasod niya kuha og investor para namo yeah. the bigger problem because what yeah. happens is many times nag eskwela ka og this is what you studied for in college but when you were so desperate and looking for a job to yeah. work abroad you get to work you w yeah. work in a totally different uh, exactly. job exactly right? yeah so when you come back you have this degree but you didn't work in that degree you did not work in that profession so you don't have a matching resume yes exactly that That's matches what your, to tell you, your sir. credentials yeah. so you know these little things are happening because because for the longest time we have the wrong system in place so we we were closed to foreign investors we have 60 40 in the 1987 constitution number two we are unitary we don't have federalism and then Third, we are using a presidential system. Exactly. And then what, what is a presidential system? In presidential systems, you end up having a popularity contest, mm -hmm. right? Pasikatay, pa, pasikata na lang. Maudyod, pagbakiray, uh, pagduulay. Yeah. Sino yung malapit? Kinsa ang sikat nga artista, kinsa ang yeah. singer, kinsa ang basta, ingana, kinsa ang who has. Because they campaign for popularity. They campaign based yeah. on their name. Yeah, exactly, sir. But if we had parliamentary system you campaign based on the party and what does the party stand for yeah you explain that's I, a good point sir. you have to explain if you are in a in a parliamentary system all of the candidates will have to explain why, why? is our party the best party yeah. so exactly the point okay maraming mga filipino so allow me to speak in tagalog marami kasi mga filipino sir ayaw nila ng party kasi pag buong party daw baka ang gagawin may kurapot na naman you know the neg negative <laughs> notions you know. sir please you know problema mm. kasi ang, ang problema ng maraming filipino hindi systems thinkers bakit mm. bakit kasi kung kung ikaw ay galing sa technical na trabaho Ako, galing ako sa technical na trabaho, galing ako sa computer science. Ako, mm. you know, yung mga engineer, mga architect, mm. mga scientist, uh, mga IT people, ganyan. No? Even musicians. Musicians are usually very technical. Mm. So, these kinds of people, their jobs are very technical, very logical. So, when they analyze, they're also very technical yeah. and logical. The problem in the Philippines is we put more importance in lawyers. So, ang mga lawyer, ano ba ang problema ng mga lawyer? Liar ang marami sa kanila kasi ang trabaho nila is yung guilty nilang kliyente. Oh, yeah, Sir Darwin, friends kami, sir. Oh, oh. No, Sorry, but, but, no, no offense no, po, he Sir agrees, Darwin. He agrees. He is a good lawyer. Yeah, he is. But our problem is the bad lawyers. Yeah. Where many of them, their, their job is to make the guilty person look innocent. Exactly. You know, their, their, mafia, their mafia client has a lot of money, the drug... He's a drug smuggler, whatever, and then he got caught. Then what's he, what's he will call his lawyer, get me out of here. Yeah. Right? So your job as the lawyer is to get me out. To get him out, yeah. make him look innocent. Yeah. Oh, he didn't do anything wrong, but, but actually he has all the evidence that this, yeah. you know, that he did something wrong. So that's the problem with the Philippines because we are a society that has put too much emph emphasis on on lawyers. I mean, there is a need for lawyers, but having too many lawyers is also not good exactly because you end up having this is the number of lawyers you need but you and have so delay. many extra they delay yeah they delay the process they of will, justice many of to them be very many of the extra lawyers mm. who are not needed 
they will create new opportunities for themselves by becoming politicians. And in, as politicians, when they become politicians, they don't become problem solvers. So ito, ito yung problema, no? yung, yung problema na pagiging masyado natin ano, sa lawyer, iniisip lagi natin na lahat ng dapat lahat ng magiging ano uh, mag politiko magiging o oh, yung mga magiging politiko dapat lawyer actually sa ibang mga bansa marami sa mga ano nila politiko nila mga engineer mga oh. problem solver mga ganung tipo analytical like, yeah. oo oh, analytical You're reading my, my mind so yes. ang kailangan natin okay meron namang mga magagaling na lawyer si Lee Kuan Yew is a good lawyer eh. mm. but the thing about Lee Kuan Yew is he's a lawyer but he's also a very scientific analytical guy so that's good di ba so that's He's into need. absolute solution of the yeah. problem. That's that's what we need in the Philippines. Not more on emotion. Talaga. Not more on emotion and not more on yung uh, black. Let's, na, make, ano, oh, let's make let's make black look white. Emotional. Let's make white look black. Yeah. No. Umun sabi na siya kung ano talaga yan, yun talaga siya. Yes. And Tapos iayusin natin yung problema. Find a find a solution. But that's not that's that's not what happens in the Philippines. So what we have are too many people making up weird stories that are not true, true. Diba? and that's why that's why we have a lousy political system exactly. our political system which is a presidential system tayo what we have is pasikatan lang and then when they're there when they when they win in another office another term when they win in office all they do is ano lang make black look white make white look black um, what should we do sir because we have to push federalism we have to we have to continue to push for the three point agenda and number one remove 6040 mm. remove the anti foreign direct investor restrictions number two we need to spread we need to spread all the uh, we need to spread all the economic opportunities to the rest of the country not just in metro manila so we need federalism okay so tanggal 6040 number two federalism and number yeah. three we need good leaders sure. so we need a parliamentary system parliamentary system like in malaysia like in like in singapore like in canada like in australia and in many like in many european countries yeah productive countries yeah i mean it's no it's not a co coincidence people that if you look at the top countries in terms of GDP per capita, mm. majority and top on top are Parliament. parliamentary. And then when you look at the, the worst, the lowest ranking ones in terms of GDP per capita, majority are presidential and semi-presidential. So why are we going to choose a system that is associated with being like that? Yeah. And, then, and then that's that's only GDP per capita. The majority of those most corrupt countries a presidential. A presidential. Yes. And then the, the least corrupt, the cleanest ones, the least or corrupt countries, less, the yeah. least, cor least corrupt countries in the world are parliamentary. And then the same thing, again, you let's, let's change category. Best human development index, you know, highest in human development, educational levels, yeah, professionals, living, et cetera. Skills, yeah. When you do that ranking again, the best countries, parliamentary. The worst countries, presidential. Come on, guys. We're using the wrong system. Let's fix it. So we really need those three reforms. One, two, three. One, remove 6040. Remove anti-foreign direct investor, investor restrictions. Number two, federalism. And number, number three, three, parliamentary. We need those. And we have a deadline. Yeah. We have a deadline. That's, that's it. Our sorry. deadline is next year. Next year, December. December 31, 2020. That is our deadline. Why? Why? Because if we do not make these changes happen by then, if we do not do that, if we are unsuccessful, by January 1, 2021, Election. all of the politicians', uh, politicians mindset. their mindset is fixed on 2022 elections. Yes, and who, who could be more than Duterte? Yeah, we, this is our last chance. Last chance na natin to mga kababayan. Si Duterte na lang talaga ang last chance natin na ayusin ang lahat. You know, he's doing a lot, but we need we need to continue. What yeah. happens after Duterte? After 2022? Ha? Huh? Pagkatapos, you think ah si Sara. You think Sara is going to win if there's going to be so many mag magkaka watak watak na mag 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 watak watak yeah. yung mga DDS kasi the votes okay, would be divided. Ma-divide na si na si Sara. 
O oh, eh, maraming gusto na si Bongbong Bongo. mag, mag oh, Bongbong, Si Bongbong, yeah, Bongo, Bongo, yeah, Bongo oh, meron din si po nang pupunta. Si Tayano, yeah. meron pa si Isko. Isko, Isko. Isko. ang dami. Tapos kasi di hating-hati na yung boto. O oh, edi eh, tapos yung mga dilaw, solid. isa solid sila. Solid. Solid na dilaw baka si Chris mm. mag-run tapos oh, wala na. Oh. Sabihin natin konti lang yung panalo niya. Tapos mas marami dapat ang DDS. Eh eh hati eh. Hati oh. ang boto. Watak-watak. Ano mangyayari? Ganito, tapos yung mga nanalo, uh, yung mga DDS, konti na lang. Oh. Mas marami ang vo votes together, pero hati ang boto. O ano mangyayari? Panalo yung dilaw. Yeah. Gusto ba ninyo ng ganyan? Hindi, di ba? Kung ayaw nyo na manalo ang dilaw, baguhin na natin ang sistema. Yeah. Change yes. the system. We need a new system. Sir, what can we do? We Thank have to mga keep... viewers ngayon, anong gagawin nila kailangan, para may push na ito talaga? Kailangan i-push pa rin yung mga information na ako dun sa dun sa Facebook account ko naglabi yes, ako ng post. I'm going to tag. I'm going to tag. Lagi ako yeah, nagpo-post yeah. ng mga video about na nakakapag explain kung yeah. bakit kailangan natin yung mga reformang ito. Yes. Tapos kayo mismo mga Pilipino na nakakaintindi, it spread out nyo rin. Sino ba talaga yung dapat nalang puntahan para i-push ang federalism na to? Sino ba talaga barangay captain and then barangay captain mayor ganun? Ah, ano ba yun? Firstly, Kung gusto ganito. na talaga nila, like like after watching this, they really want it to oh. happen na. So, Lapitan sino ba talaga? Nila, lahat, lahat ng kanilang mga opisyal. Dapat sabihan nila, ikaw, mayor, ikaw, councilor, governor, barangay captain, kung gusto mong manalo, kailangan mong supportahin. Kinakailangan mong supportahin to at pag-aralan to. Otherwise, hindi ka namin iboboto. Ganunin nyo. I-pressure nyo. If you want to change a lot of text in the constitution, you need to have a major overhaul through constituent assembly or constitutional convention. That's yeah, the only way to do it. Dapat kon kon na. Kailan ba yan, sir? Di so, ba nagpasa na last year eh, basta, for the ganito. draft ng federalism? Ang kailangan, ba yan? kailangan natin gawin, i-pressure natin, i natin yung mga tao sa media. Pressure natin ating mga kaibigan. I-pressure mm. natin yung mga teachers. I-pressure natin. Lahat, they have to spread the word. I-pressure natin yung mga yung mga nasa church, yung mga ano, mga yung pare, pare mga obispo. Kasi ang oh. dami sa mga CBCP, ayaw nila ayaw ng reforma. Ng Hindi naman nila naintindihan. They don't even understand what it is. So, you know, that's how stupid the people are. Ang napaka-bobo talaga. As in, yung hindi nila naintindihan, kukontra na lang nila. How many more years pa si Duterte? Konti na lang nga nang iwan. 2022 yeah, like two na yan. years na lang talaga. Oo, oh, 2022 na lang. Tapos yung real uh, deadline natin is 2020, December 2020. Otherwise, pag hindi mangyayari ito, pagdating ng, ng January 1, 2021, na. patay na. Kasi yung mga lahat ng tao, iniisip nila, ay ano, uh, re-election na sa Pati 2022. Pati mga kongresista, sir, hindi na talaga makapag-isip ng Wala maayos na. sa pagsusulat ng Wala bagong na. reforma. Kampanya. Kasi kampanya na nasa kampanya utak eh. Utak nila. Yeah, that's exactly the, the problem with their politicians. Like, they don't really think about how to serve. They, they wanted to stay. Yan, yeah. yung, yan yung gusto nila mangyari. They, they're thinking of how to lengthen their, their term instead of how to serve within the term. Ang dami nagtatanong, bakit Pina, like nagpapagod ka pa like to write about the, the politics in the Philippines bakit kailangan mo pang ganyan gawin mo eh, nakakapagod yung nagrally dito sa Taiwan sir syempre ang init-init ang lamig-lamig and I said because I can't just like turn my turn my back, back and forget about my country yeah because my family is in Cebu yeah yeah that's why I want federalism kasi mas malaki ang chance po natin na mas ma ma-develop pa po yung uh, sarili nating province Like, kung saan man tayo nang galing and hindi na mauuso ngayon yung parang i-discriminate natin yung sarili natin kapwa nating Pilipino. Kasi syempre, di ba, develop na yung taga Cebu, develop na yung taga Bohol, wala na probensyano. Pare-pareho na tayo lahat Pare Pilipino. Di ba? Oh. Da dapat ganun. Dapat ganun yung mentality natin. Na nakikita natin na nangyayari eh. Parang marami dyan sa mga pag nasa Manila based. Parang tingin nila sa rest of the, of the country, rest of the Philippines, parang ay, ano pala? Barok pala kayo? Parang exactly, ganun eh, di ba? yes. Kasi everything is in Manila eh. Mm. Everything is in Manila. I mean, lahat ng mga facilities, ganyan eh, sa Manila. Oh. Ay, ngayon, talo kayo sa Cebu. Yung mga, ako, taga Cebu ako, taga Cebu rin siya. Oh. 
Pildi. Pildi mo tanan ng kataga Manila sa Juan, sa Carlos. O, oh, saman. On sa umuna. Diba? Diyos sakit Santa, tayo. Uh, okay. So we should not, we should not Ay, have that kind of oh, competition. Kadugay kayo, yeah, sige mo buwan, sige mo discriminar na mo. Yeah, <laughs> uh, ako nili ko taga San Carlos, pero akong amahan, taga din to man. Oh. <laughs> pero anyway, I'm saying, yes. mga, mga higala, uh, friends, Uh, It's just a metaphor that we should really change our mentality. Change our mentality no more. Be... This uh, Manila is higher yes, than the rest. Yes. No. Federalism na para patas lahat. Patas lahat. Okay? Right. So, sir, I won't take too much. Bisag too much na jud kay sir. Ang time ako may take. Thank you kay sir. Okay, Ryan. Well, I really wanted to have another discussion with you, but I know you have to rest. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. May ugma. Pero, guys, don't forget. Don't forget. Reform number one. Remove 6040. Yes. Remove the anti-foreign direct investment restrictions. And then number number two, two, we need to spread out those opportunities to the rest of the country, not only in Metro Manila. That's why we need federalism. federalism yes. Number three, Finally, we, need, pinaka 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 we need very good leaders. We need continuity. Mm. We need the ability to get rid of lousy leaders. Exactly. And that's why we need a parliamentary system. So, so, As chance na to mga kababayan. So, Otherwise, please. kung hindi natin magagawa ang mga reformang to, mag-migrate na lang tayo sa ibang bansa. Oh, ganun na ganun. lang. End Honestly. of the story. And then, ang kawawa, yung family natin. Na naiwan. Na naiwan. Oh. Which is masakit para sa akin kasi andun sila eh. Yun yung nga mama eh. ko, Parents papa ko. ko. And pag, pag tumanda sila, maghihirap sila dun. Yung paano yung pag magkasakit sila? Paano yun, sir? Kung ganun kahirap, eh. yung mobility, ganun kahirap. Pag pupunta ka lang ng hospital, it takes an hour. And, ngayon, And then it's gonna be too late. Kawawa yung mga taga Metro Manila. Ang dami na mamatay sa loob ng, ano, yes. ng, ng ambulansya. Yeah. Kasi sobrang traffic ko. Oh. Oh. Eh bakit nagkaroon ng traffic? Kasi... Kasi lahat ng trabaho nasa Metro Manila, so yung mga tao, pagka graduate nila ng college, pupunta ng Manila para maghanap ng trabaho. Oh. Fast forward, after so many years, tingnan nyo nangyari. Like, yung, dapat ha, ang original plan, ang original plan ng mga urban planners ng Metro Manila was dapat at most 1.5 million people lang. Ang Metro Imagine Manila. Imagine that this time, Ngayon, how many? 15 million na yata, 12 oh to 15 God. million na yata. So, How you know, could a small space accommodate, kaya. accommodate all those people? Hindi, hindi kaya. talaga kaya. Hindi talaga kaya. Kaya nga, ganun yung traffic situation natin. Kahit anong gawin natin, And flyover, ano pa yung mga so-called uh, ad events, walang mangyayari. Kailangan talaga ng federalism. Kailangan talaga ng mga reforma. And it Kailangan makes the talaga. city unproductive, sir. Yeah. Kasi ang dami na sayang sa kakalate mo, ang dami na sayang. Wala. Really. Ang dami nga na mamatay. Mm. So, guys, This is urgent. This is urgent. CPR na ito. CPR. Mamamatay na ang ano, ang, ang pasyente. Ang bansa natin. Ang bansa natin, oh, sir. Mamamatay na. Pasyente na. Okay. So I hope you guys would understand how we feel about our system. We really need to change it. And dapat talaga federalism na. Sir Ryan, marami po talagang salamat, sir. Dagang It's salamat. our first time dyan. Dagang salamat dyan, ha? Yeah, dagang salamat dyan, sir. So, sir, final message na lang, sir. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, remember, ladies and gentlemen, back in the day, back in the 1950s, ang Philippines, ang yes. pinakasikat na, pinakadato ng country, pinakamayaman na country sa Asia, second yes. lang sa Japan. So, yung mga, ito, Taiwan, mm. uh, Hong Kong, so, Singapore, they were God. looking up, they were looking up to the Philippines. Yes, Some true. of them were It's studying. Really true. And I remember in um, 19, 1960s, 1950s, 1960s. Mag-maid sa Mag-maid sa Pilipinas. Ang mga taga Hong Kong. Guys, baliktad na ngayon. Bakit? Kasi we did not do a good job of improving ourselves. We had the stupidest system ever. We self-sabotaged ourselves with the wrong systems, the wrong economic system, with the stupid 60-40. That was actually the reason why we ended up becoming one of the poorest countries in this region. One of the most the biggest disappointments ever. We have to fix this now. Yeah. We have to fix this now. We need constitutional reform. We need to remove those 60-40. We need to have federalism and we need to have a parliamentary system. That's what we need to do and we need to do it now before tw the end of 2020. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please. Please, and share this video kay Makatabang and makakatulong din po ito para malaman ng mga kababayan natin na this is urgent. As in, nasa ambulansya na po tayo. Sabi nga ni Sir Orion, CPR na to talaga. CPR na talaga to. Or else, mamamatay na yung mamamatay bansa na natin. Ang problema ng Pilipinas ay gawa ng Pilipino. 
self-inflicted self-sabotage. Pero yung ibang mga bansa, paminsan, eh, nagka, nagka-drought sila kasi hindi nagkaroon ng, ng rain for a long yung time. Yung sa Japan, ganun, na yung sa nuclear na bombing, oh. they, they closed it and the earthquake recent oh, na ganun. talagang nakabangon pa din oh. sila. Pero tayo, puro yung mga problema natin, ano yan eh, mga, mga problema na gawa natin sa sarili natin. Yeah. Mga self-inflicted. That made me recall yung message ni Tata Digong kahapon. Sabi niya sa, sana lahat ng Pilipino ay tutulong para magkaroon tayo ng mas magandang bansa. So, this is it, di ba? This is it. Last mm. chance na talaga to. So, you know, Tatay Digong cannot do it alone. Yes. We need to help him. We need to force all of those different hard-headed politicians that we need these reforms to happen now. Okay? And the, la- the last date possible is December, December 31, 2020. Nagan salamat. Nagan salamat. Hello, Filter, sir. One, two, three. Hello, Filter. Hello, Filter. Take two, sir. Nagan One, two, three. For the Filipinos, you're in Taiwan. Please don't forget to subscribe.